you and your kids were in court earlier this week. Yeah. You're going through a really public divorce with their mother, Sonia, who claims you were both physically and verbally abusive to her. Um, those are some serious allegations. We want to give you a chance to speak on that. When you get into Hollywood and you're a celebrity, anything that I do is under microscope. So when you say something like that, it should be public record. It should be a police report. It should be evidence. I think those type of things are for lawyers. They understand who I am, who my character is. Uh, it took me a long time to build who I am. I think the people in the real world know me. They always see me with my kids. My kids have been living with me. I've been paying, I've been paying my ex-wife. I haven't been with her in over nine years. I've been paying all the bills. She's been with this attorney for five years, and I've still been paying all the bills. So people who do that don't do things. I, the man up above is, is my judge. So that is I, don't, great. I don't have nothing to do. We appreciate your honesty. Yeah. yeah. You know? I have nothing to hide. I mean, I went to court by myself. I never got served. So when I got served it, and I found out, uh, my, matter of fact, my son got served, and TMZ told me that I need to be in court tomorrow. So I'm like, I, I never really liked TMZ, but I guess yesterday I was like, okay, thank you, TMZ. Okay. And I, I showed up. <laughs> I showed up. But it's, it's a sad thing because we have a beautiful family, and Romeo works so hard. And I think when people work hard for something, I think the, 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 the truth will come out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you guys something, too. Oh. Drugs is killing a lot of families. So my whole thing is I feel like we're going to get help for her. I mean, we still love her as a family. That's, that's my kid's mom. We wish the best for her. Right. But... When in, in the court system, they never want the kids to talk. My kids are articulate, they educated, they can talk. They know that they've been through things. And as, as a parent, people want, to, want the kids to be yeah, who, with the people, best. I think people don't understand uh, when you go through a divorce with a lot of kids, yeah. it's a lot of pressure on the kids as well. So yeah. people are always saying the kids need to stay out of it. But the only reason we got to get in it because we're being tossed into it. Yeah. So it's one of those things, it's life. But I feel, you know, God don't give you anything you can't handle. Yeah, yeah. Through this craziness, you know, this is actually right. the most calm I've been because, you know, I got the man up above and people been through a lot worse than this. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. That's family for yeah, you. Yeah. To be honest with you, this is not a public thing, but we on TV every day and, and people make it into a public thing because it's about money. Yeah. If I was still in the ghetto and had no money, this would never be on TV. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. There's so many other guys I see in that courtroom and women that nobody care about. Yeah. Well, you guys being on TV and you going through this actually helps other people who are going through yeah. it, too, to stick together. Well, I know now on, I'm not just looking for a beautiful woman. She wants to have educated, the whole complete package, everything that goes with it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it, is, it is a blessing in disguise. You know, I'm working on a new project called Fighting Monsters, and I feel some of my best music I've made yet, and that'll be coming in January. And it's what a lot of what's going on in our life. So. What is the ideal situation? What is it that you guys want to happen out of all of this craziness? Well, you know, to be honest with you, I just want my mom to find happiness. Exactly. You know? Peace. On my whole family. Yeah. On my whole family. I want my kids to be able to do what they love to do. Uh, I feel like it's any parent. What I said, what I told the judge when I was there, I was like, sometimes you got to look at right and wrong, and that's it. Uh, I feel like as a person on the outside looking in, I asked the judge, I said, drug, drug test both of us, and then you'll find all the answers, which their attorney don't, didn't agree with it. So I'm putting it in God's hand, but I think the best thing we're going to find out this in the end, that we're going to get through this. I mean, we got through. I come from the ghetto. I had nothing. Right. So we will get through this. And, okay. and my kids will be able to, they'll be able to be with their mom, and I think this is going to change her, too, because we're rooting for her. It's not like we're looking down on her. That's right. I mean, we love her as a family. She's going to be in our life forever, so... I just, I just hate that the attorneys, because I brought her out here to California. So when people see me and they see money, they forget about everything else. They, they really the strong beginning. on in her. Yeah, they strong on in her because she don't know. So we, we, we're going to get through this with the man of above. Sometimes things like this you have to go through to make you a better person. That's right. right. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being so honest about the situation. We appreciate it. You can catch Masterpiece Family Empire Saturdays at 8 p.m. on Reels.